Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from billionowbillionow.com.au bringing you all the stuff from overseas locally shipped to you everywhere. What do we got, Rubes? Well, we're in the, we're in the new studio for one. This is the, the first video we're, we're filming here. We've, um, Very flash on, I yeah. say. Uh, we, we did the, the stream in here last Friday. This is the first time we're actually doing an unboxing. And we're already piling the, the new table up. <laughs> to uh, its max. That's it, you know. There's, there's no point getting all this new stuff unless we're going to actually uh, push it to its breaking point. So that's let's uh, let's see what we got. Big box, little box. Uh, let's get a big box right in front of you. Oh, that one. The other one right in front of you. The other one right in front of you. <laughs> um, I'm actually unsure about these because I have a bit of an inkling what's in there, but I can't imagine why it would need to be a box that size. So they've either packaged them uh, with lots and lots of uh, space or... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's looking, looking like that. So we've got some uh, small boxes within the big box. This is going to get confusing. I think so. Let's start off with this one. Might need my eyeballs on first. That says Roadrunner. Roadrunner. With the RR in pen oh, on the yeah. other side. Ooh. Ooh pretty sweet right. box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. Uh, car, again with the, the kind of cardboard monster box kind of a thing, but, yeah, but more, this... more closely akin to the Perth Mint 100 box with their like kookaburras or something. Yeah, but th this is actually, I know it's cardboard, reinforced cardboard which isn't as good as plastic, but this packaging is actually, that's really cool. Yeah. I quite like that. All right, well, All right. Onto, onto the coin itself. <sighs> Simplicity. So they come in tubes of, I'm guessing, rolls of 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So get them singularly in a roll of 20 or in a box of 100. Let's have a look at the coin. No tubes to be had, but yeah, you can get no the tubes steel, to have, but they are plastic in, rolls. They are encapsulated. Yes, which is always nice. I quite like that. It's a very simplistic... Hang on, I'm going to grab a glove just to give it a black background. Yep. It's quite a simplistic design. I quite like it. That is very cool. You've got the, uh, the classic uh, intro and outro um, yeah, thing around discs. the outside there. Yeah, discs <laughs> around the outside. And Her Majesty with legal tender in Samoa. It's okay, it's a Samoan coin. Which I have to admit that they're not seeing a whole lot of. Um, I've seen a lot of the other kind of Pacific Islands. Yeah. Um, but I can't say I, I know who else has done the Samoan one, so that's cool to see. I believe these are all road runners. Nope. Nope, no. That one's potentially not. We'll wait and hear a meet me a road out of here. Okay, they're all road runners. Cool. This one, that one is a, uh, a more vermin type. Oh. <laughs> Depends on who you're, uh, who you're talking to as to if uh, road runners well, are. Yeah. <laughs> In Australia, road runners aren't vermin. <laughs> <laughs> so, all part of the same series. So, again, Samara on one side. Bugs Bunny on the other. Very, the very classic cool. Bugs Bunny. You can't go wrong with the Bugs. Did you have a favourite Looney Tune growing up? Looney Tunes character? I liked um, Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> very nice. I say, I say, boy. <laughs> That's the one. I possibly relate to him a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> Did you as a kid as well, or is this is this something that's come as you've gotten older? Uh, I think it was as a kid as well, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> All right, what do we got in this one? Similar type boxes. Ah, Daffy. Ah, let's have a look. That's a Daffy. I think these are all Daffies. Why it's Daffy? Yep. So cool. I can get that off the table for a minute to give myself a little bit more wriggle room. All right. Let's have a look at a Daffy. I quite like this simplistic design. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's not trying to be something it's not. It's, you know, hey, you've got the, the background logo there and you've got the, the actual character there as well. I think the only thing I'd like to see on it, if, uh, if they're watching, is I'd like to see a bit more definition in the design. I'm assuming the, you mean the people that made the coins. Yes, that's right. Like the Looney Tunes themselves. No. So, I mean, Bugs is actually, maybe it's just the way the light's catching in here. Bugs is actually standing out, but 
Daffy and Roadrunner. They blend just, a little bit. Yeah, they bit. blend a little bit too much in there for my liking. But still, I mean, I love the design though. Next box. Next box. So there should be one more Looney Tunes design. Yep. And then one that is definitely not a cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It'd be interesting to see him as one of them. Uh, I reckon these are the other ones because these are packed the differently. Different types of box. Yep. Now uh, that's a Daffy. Yeah, we might come back to this one so we can keep them all on, on brand. On brand. So I'll just shut this one up and I'll move. These coins. And this one, the final one in our Looney Tunes series. Yes, oh, this we've waffled cool. long enough to get to the final coin. We this. have. So, Tweety. Hey. A favourite of my daughter's. There we go. Tweety Bird. I think, I think they've done well with that. They've actually got quite a nice, simple bullion collection there. Yeah. No. All dated 23. No. Oh. Two 23s and two 22s. Yep. So two on the outside there are 23s and the two inner ones are 22s. So are they going to do more in 24? Well, they've certainly got a, a bit of a host of characters to choose from, so it's entirely possible. Well, um, we still haven't had um, Foghorn Leghorn. Well, exactly. <laughs> you can't do a Looney Tunes series without Foghorn Leghorn. I want to see Yosemite uh, Sam as well. And they've, they've got the coyote in here? Yeah, look, there, there's still plenty they could do. So I, I, I think it's possible. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. I think it probably depends on how long they've got the license for. I reckon we have to ask the question. Yes. We'll feed that back through the bat channel. <laughs> if we can uh, get an answer on it. All right. Now, the other one that we got from the same wholesaler, but part of a different series, but still will be incredibly popular if yes. I can get into the we've, uh, thing. We've had a lot of people chasing these ones. Also in the in the gold, and I'm hoping now that we've gotten these ones through, I can be sitting here and begging Michael to actually get some I of the gold ones through. Didn't actually know they came in a. In the a gold game. one is actually the original because that's that's actually the, um, the the kind of premise in the movie is that oh. he has these these gold coins that he takes with him and uh, converts for for firearms or accommodation that's or. Right. Whatever Right. services that he needs. So, so these are, for anyone who hasn't, hasn't read the label <laughs> of this video, we're referring to the John Wick coin. We are. Now, we've got the silver version of it right here, and I am going to need a glove. And these are a great coin. Wait, I'm not 100% are they a coin or are they a round? No, they are a round. You are, are correct. Right. No, that's alright. Just, just making sure there. And they are as far as I can tell, although it's been quite a while since I've watched any of the John Wick um, series, they are very real to the coin, I think. Yes, although I think from memory they, they tended not to show kind of too many uh, close-ups of it. It was kind of a very quick in Into passing. No, yeah. no, well, they, they, showed, they showed the coins there, but there kind of was never a clear close-up shot. Yeah. Um, although I may stand entirely corrected on that because obviously they've, they've got the design from somewhere. But yeah, I'd say a fairly faithful uh, recreation to, to the ones used in the film. So we now have them in stock. So we've got the John Wick coin, round, <laughs> for Ruben collects, corrects me again. And we've got the Looney Tunes series. So great ones to add to your stack, great talking points. You know, particularly uh, you can tell people you've got the, the original John Wick coin from the movie, but in silver, not in gold. So hey. leave leave a, leave a comment if you want us to try and uh, get the gold ones through, and uh, yeah. we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll kind of gauge that response, and I'll uh, use that in my argument to tell Michael, <laughs> see, people That's are right. after him. We need him. We need him. The pressure. That's it. The pressure I'm under. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. So they are in stock. Look, these are. A I would suggest these are a one-off in stock. I don't believe that's something that's going to be a regular. Um, although the Looney Tunes, if it does become a series and they keep that ongoing. Obviously, we'll keep getting those in as yep. time goes on. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit of grab them while you can uh, because they may not come back into the country through us again. Good stuff. All right, we'll have the, uh, the links to all those down in the description. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video. See ya.